Welcome back, everybody. It is another edition of New Guitar Day. Um, yes, it is August the 19th, 2024. We're coming to the end of those lazy, hazy summer days. Before we dig in here, I just want to make a couple of notes. First of all, as you can see, once again, Amazon and their infinite stupidity once again have sent me the giant box. The other thing that's interesting to note is they put this warning for a lithium battery. Uh, there's no lithium battery in there, in this box at all. There's a little tuner and they don't even give you a battery. The third thing I want to make a note of is the absolute abysmal tape job. They must have just, again, I don't know what they're thinking, that they think this is acceptable to send something to somebody. And what makes it even worse, see, lithium battery. There's no lithium battery in here, so they're totally full of crap. But what makes it even worse is as I was bringing this box in from the UPS guy, I heard a clanking. That's never a good sign. Now that tells me a couple of things. It tells me that once again, their packing person has no concept of the necessity. I mean, look at this. This is just ridiculous. I don't even know why they put tape on it. Whoever did this tape job needs to be transferred. So again, the clanking tells me that something is amiss. Something has broken free or I'm not really, yeah. Let's just say I'm worried. I mean, look at this. This is just so bullshit. And this looks like it is potentially. No, it looks like it's a brand new guitar that nobody was ever opened. This thing is heavy in the box. I don't know why that is. Because usually they're not that heavy. But let's see. It has a tag on it. Let's see what this tag says. If this came from. California, so I'm ordering seven pounds. So that's sort of unusual, that part. But it does look like the box has only been taped once. So we'll consider that to be a good sign. But I am curious as to, well, that was broken. That seal had been broken. Maybe someone taped over the tape. I don't know. It's hard to tell these things. I hate to be so damn suspicious with Amazon, but they do some shady crap. Now, I understand that your customers do a lot of shady crap as well. So, maybe they're just trying to be shady for the shaders. It was just a zipper pointing around. So this has definitely been opened because this stuff should all be in the bag. So I'm going to call Amazon and give them some noise. So let's just crack this puppy open. So, as you can see, now this one doesn't have... Yeah. So this is like the first version of their K6 model. This one having the bridge pins, like an acoustic guitar on the bridge, instead of string fiddle. This one also, I believe, has the button batteries. And this thing is warm. Yes, it has the button batteries. Fret ends are much better. So yeah, this was the model that on the, uh, well, it looks like it survived. I don't know what was clanking around in the box. It had me worried there for a minute. It just really felt like, I mean, the front ends are much better than the other one. They, they still need a little bit of smoothing. You can see there's like glue residue around this. I'm sort of afraid this thing's going to just snap and come flying and hit me in the face. I think I'm going to open it up and check it out. So I'm going to tune it up, see what it does, see how it flies. But yeah, that the boxing job is just absolutely just, 
They should be embarrassed. And I know they're not, but they should be. I mean, they're supposedly the premier mail order company. And that takes job just really, really bad. Anyways, we'll be back. We'll be back. Oh, welcome back, everybody. It is now 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We had a little time to tune this thing up, stretch the strings, and take it out for a test drive. And so here's the preliminary observation. So this guitar, nowhere on the guitar, on the box, anywhere, does it show a model number for this? This is exactly like the K6, which did have a model number on the box. The two notable differences, this has the acoustic guitar style pin and bridge set up. And if you take the back cover off, this also has the two button watch battery set up for the preamp. So those are the two notable differences. So I'm guessing this was the original version. If you look at the reviews on Amazon, there's two models in this type of guitar. There's the steel string and there's the, well there's actually three. So there's the steel string, there's the nylon string, and then there's the K10 which is the one that has the four knobs and the built-in effects and has a humbucker pickup on it. So, but of the two, so we're just going to call this the, the original K6. Um, the people who had the nylon model guitar, some of them literally had the bridge just flying off mid-plane, just the glue let go and wham. Now if you look at the way a nylon string guitar is set up, the bulk of the pressure is right here at the back of the bridge. Now I took off the back plate on this. Another interesting thing about this guitar is this guitar weighs 7 pounds, and the one that I had, the version number 2, weighed 6 pounds. I think part of the reason is, is this one is only routed out right here. They just must have had a bunch of spares of these. It would have been nice if they would have just put a little plate, but again, cosmetic, mumbo jumbo, who cares. It's hard to believe that just this not being routed out is a whole pound. So maybe this is just thicker wood. But anyway, 7 pounds. It feels solid. Um, yeah, if you were Keith Richards on stage with Mick Jagger, that video where the guys are going after Mick and Keith bams him with a telly, this would definitely take somebody out. So you've got that going. Now, I hesitate to say anything about this because I feel like I'm putting a jinx on the guitar. But the two K10s and the one K6 that I had had a pretty noticeable hum coming out of the piezo pickup. This thus far does not seem to have any hum at all, and I'm wondering if it's due to the the battery situation. And I'm going to ask Bullfighter what prompted them. So again, they have three iterations. The original iteration of the K6 has the two watch button batteries. The second version takes a 9-volt battery, and it has the separate door in the back, which is very convenient. And the K10 also has the battery door in the back, but it took two... Um, double A batteries. So you've got three totally separate. So I'm wondering what their logic was behind that. And I think, if I'm correct, that a button battery puts out 1.5 volts, so two of them together would be 3 volts. So that's a lot less than 9 volts. And I'm not sure about a double A battery. Let's look and see what a double A battery puts out. If it says it also says 1.5 volts. So two of these would also equal three. So it's not the voltage. But I don't know what the difference is. I'm guessing on the K... No, that wouldn't make any sense because the K10 had the built-in effects. You would think it would require more power. So anyways, I don't know what it means. I don't want to put a hex on it. But back to the bridge. So the interesting thing about this guitar is, and I could have shown you, but I put the cover back on, is the string goes down, so it's like, technically it's like a string through body. The ball end of the string goes into the cavity, and then the pin pushes down. So, from what I can see, the majority of the pressure isn't on the bridge itself. It's being held by the pin down in the body. But only time will tell. But when you hear about a bridge playing off a guitar, it does make you think when you're playing away, and you think, wow, that would really just 
hopefully not injure you, but if nothing else, it would scare the crap out of you if the bridge just completely let go and went flying. So let's cross our fingers. So based on the preliminary, I did say that the fret ends were okay. They're actually not, but they're just so much better than the other one that I give it a pass. It's definitely going to need a little bit of work, some file work. I'm going to mention that again to Bullfighter and just say, look, the average guy that buys a guitar in this price range likely doesn't have the skills or the tools to fix that. And if you start taking this to a tech, I don't know what tech is even going to look at your guitar these days for less than 50 bucks. And, you know, so to take care of the front ends, I'm not really sure what that would cost. But, again, I just really, if someone took a mill pile and just went up and down three times, it would make a huge difference. So that's just a suggestion. Since this is the fourth of this iteration I've had, I can safely say the tuners on this one are the worst of the bunch. They're just really notchy and slippy and sloppy. And But that being said, once you get it in tune, it stays in tune. I think I mentioned on the last guitar, I'm going to put these strings on. And the reason being is these are acoustic guitar strings, but they have an unwound third. And that's where I like to do a bit of bending work. Now, some people say when you have a thick saddle, if you put an unwound on there, it's going to mess with the intonation. If it does, I'll put the regular ones back on, but, you know. So, anyways, overall, first impressions. You know, the secret is with this guitar, because this was the first iteration, they must have had a pallet of them got lost in the warehouse, because they put these up for sale last week for $49.99. So I feel sort of sheepish complaining about anything at that price. I mean, these went new for 180 bucks, and then they have coupons sometimes to take 10% off, brings it down to the 160 150 And again, if you've got the skills and the time and you want to dial it in, it's definitely a unique guitar. It's different than most other guitars. And the sound is interesting. You have to spend a little time with your amplifier to dial in the EQ and you know, get it to where you want it, which is different for everybody. Um, again, Bullfighter, strangest name on planet Earth. Not sure who thought about that, but they're over in China. Maybe Bullfighter has some kind of mystic meaning. The camera doesn't pick it up, but whoever put the bridge on, there's a little bit of glue slop here. Purely cosmetic. I don't care. And this guitar doesn't look quite as black as the other one. This one has a little more of that brown vibe going on. It's also strange, too, because the top has binding, but the binding is black. And there's just that tiny little wisp of a white line. So, you know, if I was in charge, I would have said, make the whole thing white. That would have really just popped. Again, completely superficial. Doesn't matter. So, yeah, this is the Mystery Bullfighter. This is the prototype, or the K... I guess it's a K6. I mean, again, it's identical to its brother other than those two issues that I pointed out. So so I do believe I probably will keep this guitar unless the dreaded hum comes back. And even then at 50 bucks, maybe I can live with the hum. Because I did send the other one back. I didn't want to live with the hum. But for 50 bucks, probably can live with it. So we'll be back in a week, give you some more updates, give you some more insights, give you some more information. Thank you very much again. Yes, today is... As the clouds gather, we're supposed to get severe thunderstorms this evening. Hopefully nothing too severe. It is August the 19th, uh, 2024. We're heading into the final month of summer. So hope it's been a good one thus far. We'll see you when we come back. Ooh, welcome back, everybody. It is October the 9th, 2024. I've had this guitar for about six weeks. Usually I come back a lot quicker to sort of wrap up the review, but that's usually because I have another guitar coming and I like to just keep these moving. Uh, but we've had a bit of a lull in purchasing guitars, so I've just uh, put this off. But I do have a couple potentially arriving in the coming days, so I thought I would go ahead and finish this up. So again, as you know, this uh, now, at least as far as guitars that I currently have, this is my most inexpensive guitar. This guitar ended up costing me $39. Um, they were originally $150, $160.
then they discontinued this model because this one has the bridge pins, as you can see. And they changed to another model where the, it's more of a string through design, although this technically still sort of applies. I have no fear that the bridge is going to pull off. I could explain it to you, but why? And you can also see my uh, incredibly cheap pick guard, but it does the job. It's just 3M painter's tape that pulls off and doesn't leave any residue. And it does what a pick guard's supposed to do. It just keeps my fingernails from digging in, and this is sort of a lightweight finish. And on the other, I've had three of these guitars. This is actually the fourth one. I could tell. I mean, I sent one back a day later, and just in that day, you could see when my fingernails were sort of rubbing off the uh, rubbing off the finish. So, so I just put that on there temporarily. This guitar has not yet received a setup which it desperately needs because the action is incredibly high on this guitar. But these are the final days. Again, it's uh, early to mid-October and we had 80 degrees today. Soon we will be in the throes of winter and I figured I would save the setup for this guitar till then. Meanwhile, down in the cowboy chord section of the guitar, it's very playable. Couple of interesting comments about this guitar. Again, my first was six weeks ago, so I may be repeating myself, but the three models I had, um, they don't even give their guitars models. I mean, you have to really dig. I think this is a K8 or a K6, or maybe it's a K10, I don't know. But I had the first one that I bought was the one that has the effects, which still, after letting them know, it doesn't advertise it as having effects, but it's the one that has the humbucker as well as the, forgive my Italian, piezo, piezo, the bridge, the pickup that goes under the under the bridge. So it has the four control knobs. It has a tone, a volume, and then two of the wacky effects. But it doesn't list it as being so. And then the current version that they have out, which is just like this, but it's string through. It doesn't have the bridge pins. They advertise that as having the built-in effects, and of course it doesn't. So, buyer beware. I don't think they're selling many of these guitars. It's an oddball for sure. Um, the tuners on this guitar are terrible. But like many guitars with terrible tuners, once the guitar is in tune, it tends to stay in tune fairly well. So, that's not an issue. I'm certainly not going to... Uh, spend money where I don't need to for home playing. Uh, if I was a gigging musician, I wouldn't use this guitar to begin with, but if I were to use this guitar, I would definitely, you know, and, and as some people will mention, they'll say, well, it's probably the nut. It's not the nut. The nut works fine. There's no binding. It's just the tuners are really bad. And that's how cheap tuners are, because on the other versions of these guitars, the tuners weren't as bad. So it's just you know, when you're talking cheap components, it's all about quality control. And these just happen to be at the bottom of the, the quality bin. I probably mentioned it six weeks ago, but I'm going to mention it again. So of the three previous to this one, all three of them had a very annoying 60 cycle hum that would disappear when you touch the jack plate or the cord. So it was a grounding issue. And I mentioned it to them, and they wrote back and said, oh, all, all piezo pickups have grounding issues. Well, surprise, this one is completely silent. As another guitar I have with a piezo, piezo pickup, completely silent. And years ago, I had one of the first Epiphones that had the, the uh, bridge pickup on the acoustic guitar, completely silent. So these guys don't know what they're talking about. They're putting guitars out that have a flaw in it, and they just don't want to own it. And it's interesting because the... <laughs> Again, they're going through sort of an evolution, so I believe this is the first version, and this takes two little watch batteries for a total of, I think those are 1.5 volts, so for a total of 3 volts. Then the other version took two AA batteries, which again, I believe are 1.5 volts, so that also would have been a total of 3 volts. And then they have a version that takes uh, straight up 9 volt. So I'm not sure what their thinking is. I don't know if they put different preamps in. I haven't been playing this guitar a lot, 
but I do play it every day for 10, 15, 20 minutes, and so far the little watch batteries are holding up fine. There's no issues at all. I'm assuming when these batteries go bad, either A, it starts getting distorted, or B, it just quits working. So either way. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm satisfied with this guitar. I mean, again, for the price, I can't and I won't complain. They should have done a better setup. I will have to end up doing one or two things on this guitar, and maybe both, putting a shim in to change the angle of the neck and pulling the, I guess you call this the saddle out, and sanding it down. But again, the, the action is just way too high. And, you know, for the price range, as many, many, many people have been talking about, these guitars generally are going in the hands of novices and beginners that have no idea how to make repairs, alterations, adjustments, and they just end up having a bad experience and they put the guitar away and they don't play it and another potential guitar player is missing in action. And I get when you're dealing with an inexpensive guitar, you can't put too much money in your Q&A, but you've got to put some. It's got to be playable, you know, to a fair degree. And anything above the seventh fret on this is just an absolute painful exercise. So that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, you know, again, but good budget guitar, interesting, different. Uh, oh, the final thing that I will mention too is that again, this is number four of the. I had two of this version, but without the bridge pins, and then the the crazy one with built-in effects, and none of them really had a satisfying acoustic sound, and surprisingly enough, this one does. And I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if there's different pots in this, if there's a different piezo, piezo element. I don't know if it's the two watch batteries. But when you take the time to adjust the amp, you can get a really nice, airy, acoustic -y sound out of this, which, again, is sort of what you're hoping to get. And it's actually quite good. So... Yeah, so there you go. So it's a bullfighter. Thing. And as I've mentioned in my previous four videos, I know it's a Chinese company, so I don't know if bullfighter has some significance in the Chinese language. Um, not really sure when they sat around the uh, the conference table and were thinking up, ooh, what can we call our guitar? I'm not really sure where they came up with the bullfighter. Now. It's definitely an oddball to say the least. Um, but as Shakespeare said, and I can't quote him exactly because I'm not a big Shakespeare guy, but a rose by any other name still smells as sweet. And this is an interesting guitar no matter what they call it. So there you go. So the Bullfighter, again, I don't know if this is a K8, a K10, a K9. I'm not really sure, but I guess it's a K because that's what their guitars are. So, thank you for joining us again. It is October the 9th, 2024. We're in our final days of the warm temperatures. At some point, 80 degrees will disappear, and we will not see it for six, seven, eight months. So these days are really enjoyable. Um, we'll take a little peek out here. The final days of my marigolds, which finally bloomed. I mean, again, I planted these back in May. And they just took their time, but here they are, giving their little glory. So, anyway, so we'll be back in days and weeks, uh, yeah, with uh, at least one guitar is actually ordered, two are on back order, and I'm clutching pearls and gnashing my teeth. Oh, by the way, this guitar does get two thumbs up for a cheap, oddball guitar, so... Yeah, so I'm deciding whether to purchase another guitar tonight. We'll see. Stay tuned for further developments. Till then, have a great day.